Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today I'm going to be doing another episode of checking out some of your guys' solar systems. So today we've actually got two systems to check out so it's the first time we've had two um, from someone in a while but yeah before we get into that guys just an apology um, for the lack of videos recently I wasn't feeling too well the last couple of days so I, I wasn't able to um, get around and film some videos. I, I did send a YouTube post about it I don't know how many of you um, saw it but yeah apologies for that and also guys and before we begin as well um, if you want to send in your own solar system um, for this series and make sure to join my discord server link in the description um, where you can upload the, your systems there and then I can get around to doing them for a video at some point or you can also let me know the name of your simulation on the workshop in the comments if you want to do that but yeah please note I may not see the comment so you may have to post it on multiple videos but yeah just please please no spam but um yeah um that is um everything guys so let's get into this so yeah like i said well, today we've got two systems to do they are both from the user dimitrian guy or dimidian guy um in discord i'm sorry for saying that wrong both from him so a massive thank you to him for sending these in and yeah all credit to him um for all of the systems with us see today okay so the first system is the Nubian solar system. Right, let's see what he has got for us here. Right, let's see here. Okay, um, a universe handbook to do with taxa solar system. This is a result. Okay, okay, so it's um, quite a small sim, I want to say. Okay, doesn't seem too um, too different to you. Okay, yeah, anyway, let's get into this. So, wait, so what did that text get? say again? That said... Universe Sandwich New Attacks the Solar System. Oh, okay, so he's spammed like a bunch of stuff around, I'm guessing. So, okay, so we have a Vesta here. So, I don't think this is like a system he created to like, or a custom system. I think it's just like a regular system he may have messed around with. I'm not sure. So, here are all the objects. So, I guess we'll go through all of these. So, they're all looking relatively basic still. So, yeah, I don't think we need to um, really um, hop to every single one of these. Um, but yeah, I'll quickly just um, select them all. But I think, yeah, this is just the result of something he did. So I don't think it's like a like a proper like made custom system. So I'm seeing a lot of like made familiar names here. So um, yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's something he wanted to show off. I guess if we click play, does it like, is there anything? You can see the asteroid belt has been completely ripped to shreds. It won't run any faster. And you can see the asteroid belt has been spread out everywhere. But other than that, that looks like everything. So it's just like a solar system that's... Um, being broken up by the looks of it so that's actually the first system okay so this one isn't a custom system it's just like a um, experiment one but yeah now moving on to the um system the other system they send in okay so this one is the let me just try and hang on so the name of it is the melado system i hope i'm saying that right so m-e-l-i there we go so it's a trinary system as well so this should be quite um interesting right so let's see what they have um got for us here and that is a ton of asteroids as we can see there right so how are we doing here rightio okay so let's move on to our stars so here it is here the main star in the system it's got a slight orange tint to it um is it a custom color um i'm not sure if that's i, th I, mean, I think that is i'm not i'm not entirely sure uh but yeah there we go so there's its temperature and all that luminosity is 48 suns so yeah pretty uh pretty bright um zone right there um, so there, yeah, there we go there, but yeah, now moving on to the first of the objects. So here we go. This one is glowing, glowing hot, as we can see here. Very, very hot indeed. Very, very bright. Have we got glows switched on at the moment or not? Let's see here. Am I, am I messing something up? Glows. Oh, no, glows are on. Oh, glows in shadows. Okay, so there we go. Let's turn those on. Right, there we go. So it looks kind of weird, this one, for some reason. It looks like it's ultra hot, but I thought it'd be glowing more. I don't know. Maybe it should, because there was an update, so maybe that did something. It's just a bug fixing update as far as I thought, though. But yeah, here we go. So here are its objects. So we have a moon that's been torn to shreds, I'm assuming, by Rouge Limit, or it's just smoking up because it's one of the small little guys. So yeah, there we go there. So first object done. Now moving on to the next object out here. We have got this one. So this is a gas giant. Okay, so this is... Oh, it's got a ton of moons. So this is Gorain right here. And it's got um, some more moons. Are these all minor objects? I'm assuming they all are. They've got custom trail colours though, which is pretty nice. This one here is a uh, more custom object, as we can see. Got some custom green going on. Oh, that's why the lighting's messed up. Okay, it isn't just me. It's because there's multiple stars in here. Okay, now it makes sense. So, yeah, there we go. Right, and then moving on to the next one. Oh, yeah, see, I didn't even spot the other star system. So, they must be very far out because they're receiving light from the uh, other stars. So, yeah, I didn't see it when we loaded in. So, they must be pretty far out. So, let's just try and get a quick look. So, that's the first star. How far away are these guys? It's a trinary system, right? How far, how far away are they? It's a 6,000. Are they? Are there all the stars in here then? Okay. Let's just zoom back in. I'm guessing, yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing one of these. Oh, it looks like that furthest one out there. I'm guessing that's one of the stars. 
Um, but yeah, there we go. So that is the. So yeah, we've done all that one. Right. So now moving on to this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce these names. So apologies for that. But yeah, there we go. So this is the next one here. So we can see it's very, quite tinted by the color of the star. Then we have this one out here. This one looks pretty interesting. It's got like a grayed out atmosphere. We've got some water going on. We'll go on flashlight and studio mode just to get a better look at it there. But yeah, there we go. So it's a grayish atmosphere with an all water world by the looks of it there. 13 degrees there. So pretty um, reasonable temperature there. It's also got a moon. So yeah, there we go there. So a few more moons out here as well. They're all, um, yeah, all like ice and water. Well, that one is anyway. Um, and then we've got another uh, more regular looking moon with a yellowish atmosphere there. So yeah, there we go there. Right, now moving on to this object. Looks like a comet of some kind with its um, weird orbit. So here we go here. So it's quite a small object as we can see here with that blue trail. So rightio. Now heading out to the outer part of this solar system, I guess. We have got this red object. Um, and it is a gas giant as we can see here. Got some rings as well. Very nice set of rings with some moons. Pretty interesting set of colours on it. We've got some black, orange. We've got some like uh, flamingo pink. We've got some more darker sort of reddish pink. And then more um, black in the south there. So there we go, um, and it looks like there's there's a trail there, um, I'm trying to spot, oh there it is, so we've got this little uh, shepherd moon, I guess, which is sitting in the rings here, so there we go, right now moving on, so we've got the uh, next moon out here, another minor object, so a lot of minor objects as we can see, then we've got this yellow trailed one, so here we go here, rightio, right now moving on to the purple trail one, okay so we've got um, more um, regular looking moons, there's no water or ice or any of that um, by the looks of it there, Oh, no, we have some water on this one, actually. So there we go. And this one's got its own little moon. So moons of moons. And this, these are just little asteroids by the looks of it. So, yeah, there we go. Looking good. So, right, there we go. So I zoom out. Now moving on to this one. So this is a... So I wonder if this is counting as one of the stars, because I can only see two. So um, maybe maybe this brown dwarf is counting as one of the stars in this trinary system. So, yeah, there we go. So we've got a nice Saturn. It's a nice set of rings around it there with a the Saturn style of rings. So yeah, there we go. That does look really cool, Brings. Um, we've just gone realistic, so how are we doing here? So yeah, they're still receiving light from the stars over there. So here we go. Right, so that's the uh, first planet. I'm going to say these are planets, because I'm assuming that is meant to be one of the stars. So then we've got this one here. This one's got some water on it as well. Lots of um, bits of land and islands like that. This is the, probably one of the more Earth-like wells. Let's check the stats. We've got 88 and 47 there, so pretty good stats in orbit of the brown dwarf. So, yeah, there we go. So, you wouldn't be able to get probably an Earth flight world around a brown dwarf normally unless there's another star in the proximity to warm it up. So, brown dwarfs, they don't release much energy. So, yeah, there we are. Right, and then that is the last one. So, yeah, there we go. So, that's star number two, I'm guessing. And I'm guessing, like, yeah, over here. So, that's number two. I'm guessing this is the third one. Yeah, there we go. So, this is what's given off that reddish um, reddish glow. Because I did see um, back there, some of them, did, they look, look quite red for a star, a more orange-like star. So, yeah, here we go. This is the last star. And yeah, this is definitely a custom colour. So yeah, there we go. So a very uh, reddish um, star right there. So there we go. And um, luminosity is nowhere near as powerful as the other one. It's a red dwarf, as we can see. And it properly is red. Actually, quite a nice um, custom red dwarf, actually. I'm liking it. So yeah, there we go there. So actually, now that brings up the question. Now, if people make multiple star systems, I could also pick a good, the best-looking star. Not just the gas giant or the rocky planet. Since you can customise stars, could in theory do that as well. But yeah, there we are. So that's the first object there. Then we've got the next one out here. This one is going with a nice purple colour, as we can see here in all ocean worlds. There's a lot of all ocean worlds in here, I've noticed. That seems to be a trend. Um, so we've got this one's at minus 69 degrees, so pretty cold. Then we've got this very dark green trailed one here, with a green, a sort of military sort of looking coloured one right here. So there we go there. And then we've also got a little, uh, little object here as well. All custom names um, by the looks of it as well. So yeah, there we go. Then we have the next one out here. This one's going, ooh, I'm liking the green atmosphere on this. Let's get a closer look at this. So here it is in, well, this is how it appears with the starlight, but it looks completely different in studio. So it's a very, like, green and black sort of world. It almost reminds me of, like, a swamp or something with a very, like, mossy green atmosphere is what a uh, sort of vibe I get from that one there. Like that one, actually. That's one of my favourite planets I've seen in there. Um, and then moving on to the next one, we have another gas giant out here with more custom-trailed moons around it. See, so there we go. So a random mix of colours, as we can see there. And then onto the moons, so we can see a lot more uh, minor objects as well. We've got this bomb, the purple trail here. There we are. And then these guys as well. So we've got uh, some larger moons out here as well. So those are the last two. That one's got some a bit of a blue theme going on. There we go. So look at that. So it um, looks pretty dark in the north, as we can see. And then in the south, it's a bit of it as well. But yeah, main, mainly a blue and black sort of color theme um, on that guy there. So yeah, there we go. 
go. And then one last object at the far out. Another gas chance. It's actually like a two set of gas chance. This one's got its own moons as well. So a lot of moons of moons in this um, triple system. So yeah, there we go. So that one's going over a purple trail. And then we've got some um, more minor moons um, in orbit as well. So yeah, there we go there. Oh, and this one looks really interesting. Look at this. So it's at minus 270 degrees. It's got some water on it. Looks pretty interesting with the water on it um, like that as well. It's just one thing that a lot of the objects do now is the water like appears um, in lakes and stuff like this with the elevation and all how that works. But yeah, there it is. Let's check the stats on this. I'm guessing, yeah, very low due to how cold it is, but maybe it'd warm up if you click play. I'm not sure. Yeah, it, do it does warm up, but it does smoke up as well, so that's um, not good. I know it's cooling down. Never mind, but yeah, that's creating a lot of lag, so we're going to pause that. Um, so yeah, there we go there, and I believe that is everything for this... Um, system so yeah there we go yeah that's everything and there's nothing further out here or anything no hidden stars so yeah there we go that's all um all of the six thousand objects including all those rings so yeah there we go but now let's get these guys lined up and we'll go through all of the objects so as we can see this one is far by definitely the biggest one as we can see then we've got our red dwarf so it's got i'm guessing this is like an almost like on its way to a red giant i guess it's, it's quite large i mean if we look at it in uh suns it's 10 suns so it's like sort of the helium burning sun is the sort of vibe I get from this. It's sort of from that helium burning stage because it's quite um, luminous. It's lower surface temperature, higher radius um, there as well. And then we've got our red dwarf. I really like the color, red, like the, the shade of red picked for that. I think it looks great. So yeah, that's my favorite star out of the two since I could sort of pick best stars since they're customizable. Then we got our brand dwarf object there. Then we're moving on to the gas giants. I think the best looking one for me probably is the gray one here. The, with the dark blue, I'm liking that out of the other guys. Then we got the um, the Rockies. Also, it looks like since I clicked play it, this one actually, some of that ice or some of the water froze up a bit. So it's made it look slightly different. But that was the all purple one with um, water on it. But yeah, I think I think this one takes it for me. I really like the um, the, the mossy green with like the dark um, green and like black and grey it's got going on. I really like that one. So yeah, there we go there. Um, I think that would probably be my top rocky planet as well. But I think this one here is quite notable as well with its um, red and white there. But yeah, I think those two are the top for me, actually. And then uh, moving on to the smaller objects down here. These are all of the moons, minor objects. This one was quite cool um, as well. But yeah, there we go. That is the rest of them all the way down there with all of the little asteroids as well. So yeah, there we go. And that does it for this system, guys. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below on this system in the comments. And obviously, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, um, Demidian Guy, for sending this in. Apologies if I've scrapped any pronunciations um, with anything there. But yeah, massive thank you to him for sending those in. So that's both of his systems done. So I'm making good progress with a list of systems that have been sending so it's just a massive queue at the moment so if you send in the system and it uh, and you've uploaded it and i'm taking a while i've got quite a lot of a lot of uh, quite a big list of them to do so that is probably why i've not been able to get around to doing it yet so please be patient if you send your own simulations in through discord or in the comments but yeah i really highly recommend doing it on discord as it it adds it to the queue rather than just being lost in the comments so yeah please take keep that in mind when you are um uploading systems but yeah other than that that is everything for today's video so yeah let's see if we can go for um 30 likes on today's video, guys. Also, subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 13,000 subscribers now. That is absolutely insane. Again, a massive thank you for 12,000 subscribers too. And also, guys, for anyone, for anyone wondering about that old Minecraft video I made um, a couple of weeks ago on that Minecraft Realm tour, I've actually start, or we've actually started a new realm now um, a few weeks ago. So if you want to join that, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description, because that is an exclusive to Discord members. So if you want to be part of that Minecraft server, um, we are in, then um, yeah, make sure to join my Discord server, and then you, the instructions um, will be all in there. You can obviously message me, and you just have to ask, uh, can I be added? And then we just need your name and all that. But um, yeah, with that all out of the way, guys, a massive thank you um, for watching today's video as well, guys. Um, apologies if I'm not fully um, off. I didn't sound completely normal. I'm not sure if my voice is a little funny or not due to my recent um not feeling so well but yeah hopefully um hopefully i don't sound too different um with that um anyway but yeah that is everything so yeah like i said guys um i really hope you enjoyed today's video and yeah that make sure you all have a great day guys and i'll see you in the next video goodbye